Hi, I'm Justy. I'm a teacher in Mountain View, California, who's currently working on the CS First team. I hope everyone is taking care and staying well during this time. As teachers get ready to start a new school year in a learning environment that might be unfamiliar, I'd like to share some tips that will save you time and help you and your students have a great experience with CS First from anywhere. Google CS First is a free, introductory computer science curriculum designed for students in fourth to eighth grade. If you're new to CS First, check out our Get Started with CS First video series. They'll show you how CS First works and help you set up your first class. In this video, you will learn that anyone can use CS First, whether you're interacting with students virtually, in person, or a blend of both. You can help your students learn to code. Let's get into the tips. To use CS First, it's easiest if each student has access to a device like a laptop, computer, or tablet. Internet access is preferable for streaming videos, but if your students' homes have low connectivity, don't worry. Students can download the tutorial videos for their activity before starting. If you're operating on a hybrid learning schedule, you can help students download videos to their devices before they head home. Students can also download and use the offline editor of the free Scratch app so they can code in Scratch following the instructions on the CS First videos completely offline. All CS First videos include written transcripts. You can copy these transcripts into a document to share when supporting students with bandwidth challenges, accessibility accommodations, as well as use them alongside a tool like Google Translate to support learning in additional languages. Accounts and logging in are not required to use CS First. All the lessons and materials are available for free every day. Setting up a CS First teacher account and class gives you the ability to assign specific activities, track student progress as they watch the videos, and collect and review student projects from the site. Student accounts also help them pick up where they left off if they didn't finish a video or lesson during a session. We've heard from teachers that student logins and passwords can be difficult to keep track of, especially when distance learning. So here are some tips to stay organized. CS First uses anonymous student names and passwords for students that work both on CS First and Scratch. Instead of giving students the custom class code from your teacher dashboard to join your class with a new account, teachers can pre-generate the student accounts one by one and distribute them, making sure to keep a log of who gets what. You can download a class roster from the CS First materials page or create your own. Now you can help your students remember their passwords. Like many subjects, teaching CS First remotely means thinking creatively about how teachers offer encouragement, help students troubleshoot roadblocks, or sense the engagement of the class. Here are some tips and tricks we've heard from other teachers about how they've made CS First work for them in a distance learning environment. Whether you have limited in-person class time or you're operating in full distance learning mode, consider giving some of these a try. For classes that are super comfortable with receiving video instructions, we recommend recording yourself, giving a five minute video overview of the lesson, or even sharing your own experience with creating the coding project they're about to try that students can watch before they dive in. As your students code, they may run into questions or want to share their awesome projects. Consider hosting video calls with smaller groups of students or using in-class time to do some peer review. You may notice that some students get the hang of coding right away. Consider partnering these students with others in the class to help answer questions and offer guidance. I hope these suggestions help you feel confident that you can teach CS First from anywhere too. For more tips and recommendations on which lessons may work best in different distance learning situations, check out our full distance learning guide at g.co slash csfirst slash distance learning. If you try some of these out or have other ideas to share with the community, please post them on the CS First Help community or tweet at Google for EDU with the hashtag CS First. We hope you and your students have a great school year. Happy coding.